So hi everyone, this is Karan Dillon with the Contractors Coach. And today we're gonna talk about the concept of money. So one of the most important things we teach business owners or contractors who own construction companies is to get the fundamental concepts of what is the purpose of your business. And obviously the purpose of your business is to make what? Is to make money. And when you're going about doing the work to make money, it's very easy to get just distracted with the work and forget about the purpose of why you're doing this work, which is to make money. And therefore, your job as a business owner is to really understand how you can run your business by the numbers. Because in business, numbers mean what? Money, right? That's what the numbers in the business mean. And as a business owner, your number one job is to realize that the numbers in your business actually mean money. Why? Because if the numbers in your business look good, your life is great. But if your numbers don't look good, I don't care how hard you're working, your life's not that great, right? So today, what I'm going to be sharing with you and going through is an important tool that helps you understand one of the ways that you should be looking at the key numbers in your business. And the number that we're going to be talking about or the, the uh, sheet we're going to go over, it's called a break-even analysis. And what a break-even is, in simple terms, is simply the point of either um, the price you should charge for a job or the number of sales you should make. And that is the point at which you actually start to make money. Under that, everything that you're doing is simply going to cover costs. And what you don't want to end up doing is simply be somebody that works or um, runs jobs or gets jobs just to pay the bills, because that's not the way you run a company, right? So the two important things that we need to understand in any business is how many jobs should be sold at a certain margin so we can cover overhead. Because after that, and only after that, do you start to make any money or, or profits. And the second thing you should understand when you're estimating jobs is what is the minimum you should charge for each job? Because everybody wants you to give them a better price, sharpen your pencil, whatever it is, but there is only so low you can go before you actually start losing money. And so that number should be very clear for you for every job. So that's what a break-even analysis does. It tells you these two key numbers. So here's a sheet and I'm gonna cover what this is from an example that I'm gonna give you here. So in this, if you take a look at it, I'm going to use an example of a company where the monthly total sales are 100,000. Um, the cost of goods, which is all of the cost for labor, subcontractors, materials that it took for you to complete those jobs. And these are just job related costs. Let's say that's 65,000. And so, and this is a company that has an overhead of 20,000. And an overhead is paying the owner, uh, paying any supervisors that are not charged to a job paying for any office admin, marketing, things like that. So these are the three key costs that you have to, uh, the three key numbers that you have to understand. So total sales, uh, the cost of goods, the what it took to produce those jobs and the overhead. So with this, if you look at this, what it tells you is that the gross profit is six, uh, 35,000, which is simply 100,000 minus 65. And therefore that gives you a gross margin of 35%, right? So the net profit here is 15,000. And this break even sales value of 57,142. What that means is that if you're running a business that does 100,000 in sales with a 35% margin, you need to sell $57,142 in that month before you start making a single dollar in profit. Okay, an important number to understand. Now let's go to the other side of it, which is, if this is the way you're running your jobs at a 35% margin, how many jobs do you need to sell in that month before you start to make a profit, right? So in this example, we're gonna assume that you sell four jobs uh, each month. Now jobs come in different sizes, so that's why it helps to actually average it out. So we're gonna assume you sell four jobs at 100,000, so an average is what? 25,000 per job. And we'll divide the costs the same way, it'll come to roughly $16,000 uh, per job, right? The overhead remains the same because it doesn't change. So what that tells you is that you have about a $9,000 profit per job, uh, you know, roughly the same margin. And at this level, you have to sell, you know, 2.2 jobs, I guess, before you start making any money, okay? 
Now, the third piece here, which I think is probably the most valuable piece here is how much should you charge or what is the minimum you can charge per job before you start to actually lose money? Right? That's another important piece of uh, break-even analysis. And so if you're selling, let's say four jobs per month, your average job cost, we said, is about 16,000. Your fixed or overhead expenses never change, which is 20,000. So if you do the math here, what you come up with is a break-even selling price of $21,000, which is if you're giving an estimate, you should never have an estimate that's below $21,000. Otherwise, you will start to lose money, right? So this is your break-even selling uh, price. So this is simply just a high-level overview of helping you understand some of the key numbers in your business so that you as a your business owner can not just work hard, but really learn what it means to work smart.